Welcome back Chiefs fans to Over 50. Today I'm going to talk about my uh, opinion on the Josh Gordon signing that the Chiefs made earlier this week and give my thoughts as to what I think will need to happen this uh, weekend or tomorrow for the Chiefs to be 2-2 two and two and not 1-3. and three. Um, Start off with Josh Gordon. I think it's a great signing. Um, this is a guy that does not have a lot of... Um, does not have a lot of mileage on him. I mean, he's 30, and he's probably could still play easily for another five years. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of wear and tear. Uh, Josh Gordon's problems, as everyone probably knows, he's had issues with the NFL, whether it be you know for alcohol or other things. Um, I'm all for second chances, and this is probably like the third or fourth chance that Josh Gordon has had. So I hope the guy can. Um, make do or can can make this work for him this time because if you can't make this work with Andy Reid and the Kansas City Chiefs then you know I don't know I don't know what's what better situation or what other situation might um, be made available for you to make it work um, to, you know Andy Reid in the Chiefs locker room if they can't give Josh Gordon the support he needs then you know this is probably it I will say this just to give my perspective on this, I think the NFL should just let play. I gotta watch how I word this so it doesn't, I don't catch any flack for it, you know, for other reasons. But I think if a player is doing something and it's legal where they live, they should be allowed to do it. I mean, you know, if they're not breaking any laws, you know, I mean, so, you know, we all know what Josh Gordon's situation was so that's just my two my that's just my you know two cents on that because I think the NFL just likes to do things to try to get an edge up in the in the uh, for the collective bargaining agreement but um, to the game tomorrow Rashad Fenton is out Frank Clark is out and Charverius Ward is out uh, Fenton's out with a concussion so that's something that could be lingering for a couple weeks or possibly even longer it just depends if you look at the Chiefs uh, website, as far as the depth chart goes, they have Chris uh, Lemons as the backup to Traverius Ward. So if you believe that, then he's going to be starting opposite of Legereus Sneed, with probably uh, DeAndre Baker, you know, taking some time too. Uh, I don't know that I like that idea, but um, I just, the Chiefs just need to get some sort of a pass rush. I think they need to shut down the run because if Philadelphia is smart, they would run the football. The last two weeks, they've tried to throw the football. They've tried to act like Jalen Hurts is, you know, Andrew Luck or somebody like that, and Jalen Hurts is not a pocket passer. So, you know, that week one, you know, drubbing of the Falcons where they won 32-6, to six, um, it was, you know, that week is long gone, so I would expect the Eagles to learn a little bit and give the ball to Sanders. If I was the Eagles, I'd give it to him 60% of the time. I would run the ball 60% of the time and throw it the other 40% and you know try to use play-action pass. So um, I think the Chiefs' defense will be okay if the offense does their job. I'll say that again. Yes, if the offense does their job. You cannot turn the ball over and expect the defense to just hold. I mean, this is not the defense back when, you know, Marty Schottenheimer, you know, you know, was coaching us, you know, rest his soul, you know, when we had no offense, but we had a killer defense. Okay, we don't have that defense anymore. But I think the defense last week, and I already covered this in my last reaction video, they did pretty well for being put on the spot because we kept turning the ball over to them. Clyde's got to hold on to the ball. Um, we cannot have a third week in a row with him putting it on the ground and the other team getting it. I mean, he cost us the game. That cost us the game at Baltimore, and I'm not going to say his fumble cost us against the Chargers, but it definitely did not help matters. So, ball security has to be a must. Um, Got to get some kind of pass rush, and the offense just has to play well. So, I think the Chiefs can can. I think the Chiefs can win this. I don't think it's. I don't think it necessarily needs to be a struggle. What will make it a struggle is if the Chiefs cannot secure the football. Uh, back to Josh Gordon, I was trying to do some research on this because somebody had asked me at the gym, you know, they said, well, what if somebody tries to poach him off the, you know, 
approach it, take them off our practice squad and put them on their roster, on their active roster to sort of stash them away for later on in the season. And it got me to thinking about, you know, well, if that happens, would Kansas City have the option of putting him on their active roster before that would occur? And I was trying to do some research and was not able to find out anything. So if you know how that works or you know can maybe find some research, you'd like to put that in the comments section, that would be great because somebody asked me that later. And then I was like, you know, that's a really good question. So I'll try to look at that. And I couldn't find it. But I would like to think that the Chiefs would be able to at least say, well, you know, wait a minute. We're going to put him on our 53-man and they could get rid of Marcus Camp because I don't, I've never liked Marcus Camp. I just... I would have rather, you know, a perfect world situation had Bo Peep Keys instead of Marcus Kemp, but, you know, he's already signed by somebody else. So, you know, I'd almost rather see Josh Gordon on the active roster now and get rid of Marcus Kemp, but he's not ready to play. He probably won't be ready till you know, the following week, you know, week five or week six at best. So if you have any information on that, if you would put that in the comments section, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this video off, keep it short so... You know, you won't have to invest that much time into watching it, but I wanted to give you my takes on the game, give you my two cents on Josh Gordon. If you would, please, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Subscriptions would really help me smash the like button. If you have any comments or you can help me with that practice squad question I had a couple, you know, a few seconds ago, if you know anything about that, please put that in the comments section. Share this video with your friends out there. And until next time, Chiefs fans, stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.